So a couple of years ago, that's not right. A couple of months ago, maybe, maybe a year ago, uh, there was a company that reached out to us in regards to doing a laptop screen extender. Our experience with it was really bad. Because of that, we ended up not doing a review. The product came, we couldn't get it to function. It would function on occasion and then glitch out on us. And we really didn't like the way that it mounted to the screen, et cetera, et cetera. The whole experience with that display wasn't great. Who was that company? I don't even remember. These guys here, Max Free. Max Free does kind of the same thing. Now, the hope is screen extensions screen extension software and screen extension hardware over the last year has become a lot more prominent. And because of that, our hope was this is probably going to be a much better experience. They were going to send us a triple display setup. Primary laptop screen would be screen one and two additional ones. So three screens in total. It wasn't going to work on M1 MacBooks, they said. If it was an Intel MacBook, yes, but it needed an Intel chip or like an AMD chip or something like that. The M1, it just didn't support. So they asked if we wanted to try this Max Free S1 laptop screen extender, 14 inch. And I was like, yeah, because honestly, as much as a triple display is cool, I'm never in an environment that I would probably want the space needed for a triple display on a laptop. When I'm using a laptop, it's either on the couch or when I travel, and you don't necessarily have a lot of extra space. This seemed like a really good option. So this is the Max Free S1 laptop screen extender. Fits, it says, all 13 inch to 17.3 inch displays. And basically what I think is, it's kind of like a clamp thing that slides onto your laptop. We'll see that in a second. The hope is, like I said, is that this is going to actually work for one on my M1 Mac. It's a 1080p display, which is cool. It says it's easy to install and connect, which is good. So I have to head out today. I'm going with the family. They have to run into a few shops and I don't need to go into them. So it's perfect time for me to work on my computer in the car. Now, normally I would just bring my laptop, but I'm gonna bring my laptop and this if I can get it to work. So let's see what's in the box and uh, see if we can get it to function. Okay, so this is the box that it came in. I'm sure there's a box in a box, but let's just see. I like that it came in like dual boxes. I'm just gonna kind of lay this on its side because it, it is it is like a decent size. So it's a box in a box in a box. It kind of feels very MacBooky when you bring it out. Just a nice white box here, yes? Max free dual screen laptop screen extender. What does it say on the side? 14 inches, where are we here? 14 inches, it's a 1920 display, 60 Hertz, 300, whatever that is, and a thousand to one contrast, contrast ratio. And there is your product specifications, front display, back display, blah, 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 blah. Yes, I'll bring that specs part up closer. You guys can take a look if you're at all interested in that. That's cool, and it seems like it should be a nice a nice box. You just kind of lift that out. This, oh, I like that, it's like a foam. All right, so far, like the packaging, it's, is that a leather case that it comes in? It does come in like a little case with a little bag on the side here for all your cables, because what do you get for cables? A USB-C to USB-C, and that's gonna be, I like that because it's a right angle, which is nice. You get a USB-A to USB-C. I'm guessing this is gonna be dependent on the machine that you're using, and you get a HDMI to USB-C. All right, and then underneath this, you get a bunch of, uh, my guess is instructions. Here we go, we get a, user guide. They're good user guides. I can, I can actually read read these, so that's good. This is going to show us how to put it together. I'm going to try to put it together without the manual because that's what I do. A bigger user guide. I guess this one's maybe a little bit more in depth. Again, I'm hoping that it, it runs on uh, my MacBook. I like that it comes, it even comes with little straps. Yes, it's like a little bag. That's all right. See that, that's smart. That's way smarter. So that's it. As far as I can tell, this, this must stretch to fit on your laptop. See how that just moves around? So depending on your laptop. All right, well, let's bring a laptop down, shall we? My guess is this opens up. This is a clamp. Yes, just a clamp. Hold on. There's a little, see this here? 
this is going to fit on the top. It's got a little, just a little lip thing on it, so it fits on your display. All right. Now it shouldn't have to clamp open too big. All right, that's good. That fits on there. Sweet deal. Now my hope is it does. Sweet. It has a little stand because even the other one, this was my concern. When you put something like this on your computer, what happens is if you're a person that likes to lay your screen back a little bit, the hinge just can't take that extra weight. So at least with this here, it's good. But if you're a person that wants it back, it's just going to continue to fold back. So you can kind of just get that out so that it leans, right? And then you kind of sit it the way you want. Now, does this extend? Oh, it does. <gasps> see, maybe you guys can see that you, you turn it and then it fits in these little tiny notches. See how that goes in there? Or you can spin it in that notch, my guess would be, or you can put it in this notch, right? It just kind of fits in these little notches to get this longer and then it locks. Oh, that's smart. Oh, okay. I like that. You guys are probably having a tough time seeing me now, but that's okay. Let's, uh, let's bring that out even further when it's down that far, just so you guys know, it does have a little bit of a, oh, because of the weight, right? It lean that way. A big deal. No, I don't think so. Will that sit up? Okay. That sits up. Good. Don't squeeze. Don't pierce and remove the protective film. So let's remove the protective film. That's nice. Somehow, magically, this will have ports in it somewhere. Oh, the ports are right here. There they are. Aha. So I'm going to plug that one in there. And then this, you guys, you guys may be able to see that. Let's plug it in over here. Right. Is there any, anything magical now that I need to do? What does this say? Please connect this port to our... Oh, I got these wrong. Maybe that's also, this actually says, I don't know if you guys can see that. It says right on it. Please, please use this into this. So I've got those wrong. Let me change that. Hold on. Aha. See, there we go. Now we're, now we're rocking and rolling. And look at that. I didn't even have to install any extra drivers. Now all I have to do. Okay. I'm going to just do this. You guys can see this. Where am I going? This way. I'm just going to go in here go into my settings. So let's go to display and it sees this, but it sees it on the wrong side, right? So I'm going to hit a range and I'm going to take this and move it over here. And I'm going to say done. I should now be able to move this across. No, nothing. It didn't need any drivers, any, anything. Oh, that's going to make productivity is so much better. I'm going to test this actually when I go out today, cause I'm going to test it in the car. I want to see, cause I have, of course you have one USB-C port, but there is some extra USB-C ports on the back. So I'm wondering if I were to plug in like a card reader or hard drive or something, if it would actually run through there. I don't know, but maybe we'll see. But anyways, when you're done with this, all you have to do is lift this up, slide that up, you know, and I guess if you wanted, you could actually just not even have it on here. You could just have it separate, right? So that this was over here. If you wanted, you know, you didn't want to actually have to use any of this, this you can close again, just kind of push that down, make sure this is all the way and then unplug, stick it back in that leather case and you're good to go. I don't know necessarily why they, you need to use their cable. Maybe I'll ask them because if it's a specialty cable, I'd be concerned if something goes wrong with this cable. But as of now, working good. Stick it in this case like so. Make sure that's all perfect. Oh, and I'm ready. I'm ready to go. Mmm. That is excellent. So excellent. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna go take this out in the car for our afternoon trip and uh we'll come back and let you know how it worked. Alright, guys, we're in the car. We're in the car. I've got my Insta 360 set up top here, so I think it's recording okay. So I'm going to set this up and see if this would work for me to do work here in the car. I'm thinking it should work very nice. So same idea. We're just going to plug this in. And then what I'm going to do is he, here's the one thing. Here's the one thing that I'm a little confused with a little confused with and when i showed you guys where the actual uh batteries go so when you not batteries where the actual charger goes which is 
in here when you use this right angle i guess i guess you could get the top one will they all fit i don't know let's see could you put it in the bottom one oh i guess you could put it in all of them so that the two the two actually are there so you can see i actually have it in the bottom one. i wasn't sure if it would fit in the bottom or the middle because of the way it's set because if you put it had to put it in the top it would cover the other two but you can put it in the bottom one so that that works good we'll do my my open here that does that i'm just going to set that up so it sits like so i don't again don't know if you can completely see that plug that in i know this is the right one maybe maybe you just have to plug the screen in last Maybe that's it. Maybe it has to go in last, but it's set up so that it moves back and forth. I'm going to grab my phone. My phone's down here somewhere. I can, I can totally use this in the car. Look at that. That's my setup in the car. And as you can see, I could have my mail and I'll just be like, Hey, let's, let's bring my mail over on this screen, full size it. Perfect. Over there. And then I could be over here working on something else like this video is what I could also be doing. What I'm gonna do now, just cause I'm curious about those USB ports on the side. I just brought, this is a, uh, it's, a it's a GoPro battery charger from Teleson, but it uh, also has an SD card reader in it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the SD card, see where I have that mounted? I'm gonna take my SD card out of uh, that camera and see if I can actually import it here just to see if it actually shows up because then we know that those extra USB ports are at least at least working, they're functioning. So one sec. Okay, so we've got this plugged into the back of the monitor and I'm going to plug it in here. Hold on, only got one hand. So as soon as I did that, that restarted. Well, let's find out, I guess. Let's have see what happens if I put this in here. Memory card going in. I'm not getting any lights on this, so my guess is no. Now, it may be different if I actually had power running to the display. So right now, I'm going to say negative, right? Nothing showing up on my screen. So if I unplug this, I'm going to have to plug this into the laptop, but at least the USB ports aren't taken up. And see, now I get, oops, now I get lights on here, right? Everything lights up, which is good. And you can see I get my SD card reader. It works. It actually works good, but I'm not sure what you have to do to get those uh, extra USB ports to function. Again, you may have to actually take this and plug it directly into power, not being powered by here, which makes sense your computer has to supply enough power to power this and the devices, which I don't think the MacBook does. But if we had this plugged in, let's say I had this plugged into a, and I wonder actually, maybe when I get home, I'll try this. I wonder if you had this plugged in and then this was plugged into the wall, if this would charge the laptop and come the other way, that, that could be good. Well, we'll try that when I get home. But for here, working, Perfect. Love it. Everything works great. Very pleased. Okay, we'll see you back at home. Okay, before I finish, I wanted to show you this. I was just exporting or uh, working with my Insta360 footage and reading up on this. But uh, one of the things that I can't always get to work with Final Cut is have Final Cut use an external display as a full screen like AV output. But I went into Final Cut here under window and you'll see AV output. Usually a lot of times with external monitors, depending, uh, this will be grayed out. But this, as you can see, allows me to check it, which means that if I take this full screen, which is fantastic, I can actually see the edit in full screen over there. Oh, how great is that? That, that in itself is uh, fantastic for me because normally on a laptop, my biggest issue here of course is that i'm literally working with a screen this small but now i have that which is so much better and uh, look how smudgy my screen is right clean smudgy all right let's go home all right so uh, i have had a chance and i don't want this part to be overly long 
I've had a chance to uh, try this in the car. You guys saw that. It worked great. Plus, last night, I wanted to see, because my MacBook and a lot of uh, older MacBook Pros, MacBook Airs, only have the two USB-C ports on the side. So if you have to run power into your laptop and this external display, then you no longer have any USB-C ports. You can actually run power into the monitor and then run the cable into the MacBook it will power your MacBook, so your MacBook will charge. I was doing it last night, it worked like a, like a champ. This way you have an extra USB-C port on your actual MacBook, which if you really need to, you can plug in an external hub or something like that, or you need to just plug in an extra hard drive, or you need to plug in a card reader, or whatever it is. It's a win, I'm gonna, I'm gonna totally be using this way more now every once in a while for one my wife works here from home when she does she gets to use this machine and i'll work on my laptop having that extra display is lovely also the fact that it works with final cut allowing it to have the extra display as a full screen display for your video awesome and it's not overly priced you know coming in right now just over 200 dollars for the single one that's that's pretty good i'm pleased with it I think it's a really good product. I love how versatile it is in regards to being able to work with a 13 inch display all the way up to like a 17, 17 and a half inch display. I got nothing, nothing but good to say about it as of now. Make sure you like, subscribe, comment, do all that cool stuff down below. If you guys have any questions on it, let me know because I'm sure there'll be questions that I didn't think of. And as always, if there is any issues that come about with this, I will leave a, a comment down below as an update so that you guys know that something happened. All right, guys, that's the Max Free external screen extension something or other thing. They make a whole bunch of different ones. Just make sure when you're looking at them that it says that it's compatible, at least for me, like with, the, with an M1 series Mac, because not all of them are. So just kind of verify, reach out to their customer support if you need to clarify that. All right, guys, links down below if you guys are interested. And uh, that's it. See you, see, you, see you next video.